I'm here with Dr. Tara Shears, a particle physicist from the University of Liverpool. Tara, you do some work on experiments in CERN. Can you explain to me what you do? So I'm an experimental particle physicist. That means I analyse data. So the LHC produces data that reproduces the conditions of the incredibly early universe, like billionths of a second after the Big Bang. I analyse the outcome of that data as seen by my experiment that takes a snapshot of it. And I really analyse what's going on, what the universe looked like at that time when it was composed of the very small fundamental particles that make up atoms, and what sticks them together, and in doing so, tests our understanding of what sticks a subatomic world together and why the universe is the way it is. And obviously we've just had very exciting news about, uh, about the, the potential finding of the Higgs boson, um, which is fabulous, but there's a lot else left to be discovered, isn't there? There is. It's, it's really just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, first of all, it's massive, <laughs> this discovery. I, I can't outline that enough because in our subject, it takes so long to make discoveries. It's so complicated. It takes worldwide efforts of thousands of people to build these experiments, to analyse the data, that to finally see something like we did last Wednesday. Is, it's, it's wonderful. It's really wonderful. Made more wonderful because we, we have this theory that we know isn't the final answer, but it works so wonderfully well, and it's missing this one piece to make it work. And then finally, we're starting to see evidence for that piece. And it's, that is really the most amazing thing when you're a physicist. It's, it's a completely emotional response to a very deep understanding that you think for a moment that you, you're suddenly getting about the universe. But then you have to step back and remember that I, I said we've had, we have this really, really good theory that explains everything that we see in our experiments. Unfortunately, it doesn't explain the whole universe. We can't explain things as mundane as gravity that we have all around us. It's keeping me stuck on my chair at the moment. We have no idea how to describe it. We have no idea what dark matter is. We have no idea what antimatter is, this fancy science fiction version of normal matter, or why it behaves so very slightly differently to normal matter. These are big questions that really the answers, we're going to need to find the answers to understand the evolution of the universe that we have no idea about. So it's a wonderful discovery and it's filling in a gap in our knowledge, but it's really just taking us one step beyond in our journey to understand the whole universe. And what's so exciting about it is it's just opening the window onto that understanding that we're aiming for, just giving us a glimpse of where to go to find out answers. And that's why we're also thrilled about it.